Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we're going to talk about how to sharpen an image today. But we've already I've already got a video about the two ways to sharpen images in Movie Studios Platinum, but it really should have been three ways because I didn't talk about the unsharpened mask. Because fun fact, the unsharpened mask has doesn't leave a mask on it, and it doesn't leave it unsharp. It actually does the opposite. So uh, let's talk about that. So first off, to get to your unsharpened mask, what you need to do is go to your video effects tab and you can scroll down and it's here at the use and you can type it in up here as well if you're looking for it. Uh, but once you find the unsharpened mask, it's got all these different um, presets and we're going to talk about this. So I'm going to grab the medium one so you can see what's going on here. First off, my video is actually sharper than it looks. Right now my preview is in auto. If I go to best and full, I'll be able to see it as sharp as it came off the camera. And uh, that's a pretty sharp looking video. There's nothing really wrong with that. Uh, but if I wanted to make it artificially sharper, the unsharpening mask is a way to do that. So first, let's give an example. If I drop the medium sharpness on it, boom, you can kind of see it really kind of rips those edges up. It gives it a lot more texture to the image and, and uh, the edges are a lot harder. Um, but it's a fake sharpness. So let's talk about why it's a fake sharpness. First off, let's go to Wikipedia. Look at this image here. It's beautiful. It's got the Mona Lisa on it. So uh, if, if you take an image and then you blur it and then you invert it and then you darken that inversion and then you use a special mask to sharpen only uh, to kind of block some of the areas of the mask based off the blurred inversion, then you have a unsharpened mask and that's why it's called an unsharpened mask because it involves unsharpening and masking but uh, what it's doing is it's trying to find some of the details that exist and not pay attention to some of the other areas so if you remember in our other unsharpening video oh sorry in our other sharpening video uh, one of the deep problems is, is you can actually sharpen places of the image that don't matter uh, pixels that you're not actually trying to sharpen um, but this this kind of makes it to where it forces itself to only really pay attention to the hard lines of the image so now you can understand a bit more about how this is working it really can be a very jarring Jarring effect if you're not careful, uh, but a very interesting one, uh, especially in something that's stark like this this background right here. It even pulls some of the texture out of my black backdrop some and removes some of that mystique. Uh, but that leaves me a great place to talk about how this unsharpened mask works. There's amount, radius, and threshold. With the amount, you can change how much sharpening you're doing uh, and how much it's finding the lines. The radius kind of changes how uh, how zoomed in on the pixels it is as it's making these decisions. So you can uh, kind of see what happens here as you drop the radius. Uh, up the radius you can change how much it's sharpening and as you up it, it you can really see um, it does help a lot giving you a more starker contrast the threshold uh, is where that unsharpening mask starts so you can make it start at a lesser threshold uh, and make it make it go more to the harder edges and not affect so much of the image so this is like all of the image is affecting this is none of the image so uh, you can see where it kind of draws the lines closer to the edges of that stool there um, and how you can kind of see the edges coming into the stool as I'm changing the threshold that is essentially what you're doing is you're changing where it's going to pay attention uh, uh, to to the lines because you're changing where it's going to start using the unsharpened mask uh, so usually what you're going to have is some some combination between radius and amount to grab your unsharpened mask and when you look at it, it can really do some stark effects so uh, that's a great way to sharpen an image artificially if you need it sharper this is a great very very sleek style if you're looking for something that's very in your face um, and very serious looking uh, something I want to note too if you look here with this motion blur it actually sharpens the motion blur um, you can see that let me dial down the radius a bit The, it actually kind of starts drawing lines back into the motion blur. So it's a great way if you've got slow motion footage or something and you want to kind of give it a more sharper edge and get rid of some of that motion blur, this is a way you can artificially do that. Also, um, it, it, it can really do a good job helping you get kind of a cartoony effect if you use more of the, the strong uh, effect right there. Um, then you've got more of a cartoony look to the whole, to the whole image. 
uh, especially as you up the amount even more. And so if you're looking for a comic booky kind of kind of effect to kind of give it that that hard edges drawn look, there you go. So that is the Unsharpened Mask in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. This has been my first video for the year. I got a update video coming out shortly. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.